Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to call to order the Public Works Committee meeting for Tuesday, May 31st, 2016. First order of business is roll call and determination of quorum, please, Maggie. Robert? Doyle? Here. 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 Thanks, Maggie. Next order of business is to adopt the agenda. Do I have any changes or additions? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion to adopt. So approved. Motion to adopt by right, second by wife and balcony discussion. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed, same sign. The agenda is adopted. Now is the time for general public comment, which is the time for members of the public to discuss or express concern to the committee on any issue not limited to items on the agenda. Action, however, will not be taken at this meeting on any issue not on the agenda except by placement thereon by unanimous vote of the alderman present. I have no general public comment forms. Seeing no one waving at me, we'll move on to consent items 1 through 26. Public comment is open. Seeing no speaker request forms, I will go ahead and close public comment on consent items 1 through 26. Would any member of this committee like to remove any item from the consent calendar for separate consideration? If not, I would look for a motion to approve the consent calendar, please. Move to approve. A motion by Weifenbach, second by Wright. Is there any discussion on the motion to improve the consent calendar items 1 through 26? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. Consent calendar items 1 through 26 are now approved. We're moving on to item number 27. I will open public comment. I do have one speaker request form from Janelle Fink. And Ms. Fink, you know the routine. Good afternoon, my name is Janelle Fink. I'm with Fiscal Land Surveying and I'm here as agent for the applicant Viasat. Um, we provided a transmittal in your, hopefully you have in your packet. I don't know if you had time to review it or not, but I'm here to request your support for the variance to waive the sidewalk installation on this particular property. Um, recently, Planning Commission approved a conditional use permit to allow a telecommunications um, dish antenna to be located on this property. As part of their building permit, they would typically be required to install sidewalk. However, there is no connecting sidewalk in this area. Rushmore Regional Industrial Park is largely industrial. At the time that it was developed or created and largely developed, there was no requirement to install sidewalks in an industrial area. I realize that that has since changed, but the the surrounding area, again, has been largely developed without sidewalks. And the proposed use before you is a, I guess, an addition antenna satellite um, facility that generates no employees, no traffic. The nearest connecting sidewalk is at the very far southeast corner of the site. Um, and it doesn't provide connectivity to the majority of the businesses that, that actually have employees or people. And I think most importantly, in 2014, um, Council and Public Works granted a variance to waive the sidewalk requirement for the property immediately to the south and adjoining this. So within the last two years, um, it was deemed appropriate to waive sidewalk. And I presume that they used the same arguments that I have here, that there's no connecting sidewalk, um, limited use. So based on those conditions, we just request that you remain consistent with the previous council action for that and uh, approve the request to waive the sidewalk. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing no other speaker request forms, we will go ahead and close public comment on items 27 and 28 and move on to item number 27, which is request from Fiscal Land Surveying and Consulting Engineering on behalf of Viasat Inc. for a variance to waive the requirement to install sidewalk along Concourse Drive adjacent to 1401 Concourse Drive in Rapid City. We'll open the floor for discussion or a motion. I have a motion on the floor from Wright and a second from Roberts to grant the variance. Do I have any discussion? Mr. Weifenbach. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I would have a question for our public works. Mr. Tech, if you would. If Madam Chair, if we so choose to order sidewalks in after we, if we find that, like, I think it was made that there's no connectivity right there right now, but both sides of the street are difficult to walk on. If we, if we look at these areas and we find that we want to order in sidewalks, is that a, still an option at some point? 
Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, I believe that that's certainly your your authority and jurisdiction to do that to order sidewalks in on any property in the in the city at uh, at your discretion. So that option is uh, is and should always be available. Oh, thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, we will move to a vote. All in favor of the motion to approve this request? Aye. All opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Item number 28 is a request from JLZ Campbell LLC for a variance to waive the requirement to install sidewalk along Campbell Street. I'll open the floor for discussion or a motion. Mr. Wright. I believe, is it my time to speak? Identify, identify yourself and yes, uh, you're, 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 you're talking under my request. I'm asking you to speak, thank you. Oh, thank you. I uh, wear hearing aids, I don't even hear good with those, so on it. But uh, this is a piece of ground that lays on 79, uh, just north of Arnie's truck uh, wash. And uh, this is a long piece of ground and we're asking for a variance on the sidewalk uh, there again, there's no sidewalk that connects with this piece of ground. If you go north of this ground, it's 3,000 feet to the nearest sidewalk north, whether you go over the bridge at 79, you go up to Family Thrift Center, or there's a viaduct there that goes underneath that, that kind of heads toward the college. Uh, that's also 3,000 feet to the next connecting sidewalk anywhere north. Also, this piece of ground uh, is uh, heavy industrial. The railroad sets right behind this piece of ground, uh, so there's never going to be any housing on, on the back side of this ground at all. Uh, all the housing on 79 lays over to the west side of it, and, and this ground uh, lays on the east side of it, on it. And uh, if you have a sidewalk going north on this particular piece of ground, it basically leads you to almost nowhere. I mean, you would have to cross the railroad tracks and go through the drainage uh, to can, uh, continue on up to like Family Thrift Center, or you would have to hike around and there's no sidewalk going underneath the overpass, the overpass going over the railroad. There's no sidewalk through there for 3,000 feet on this. And so it just kind of seems like it's uh, kind of the wrong place for a sidewalk on it and and all that land down through there is zoned pretty much heavy industrial on it and i i can't see ever see any housing on that particular side of the highway highway 79 on it and uh anybody got any questions for me mr wright you still have the floor mr roberts Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you. I, I don't have any questions for you right now. If I do, I'll ask. Okay. Thanks. Can I ask the, the uh, Public Works intern director a question? Yes, you may. <laughs> Mr. Tech, um, I drove out and looked at this earlier this morning because I wanted to get a little better layout on it. Uh, there is no possibility of a connectivity to the north because of the bridge, and there's no sidewalk access on that bridge um, unless a bridge was replaced and you put... You know, but my question is, if we went under the viaduct, it, to me it looked like we'd have to go through railroad right away to put sidewalk on that side of the road. Has there ever been an agreement with the city and the railroad to put sidewalks and railroad right away? Mr. Tech? Thank you, Madam Chair. I don't believe so. The, the road network there, a little history lesson, um, Campbell Street was a state highway up until uh, 2010, perhaps. And then the city uh, received that stretch from St. Pat all the way down to roughly the new Elkvale Road, Catron Boulevard Bridge. The DOT reconstructed all that, I think, from about 2007 to 2009 and didn't put any sidewalks in. That just wasn't DOT policy at the time to do that. Uh, Going back to your question, though, I believe there is an adequate right-of-way along the roadway to be able to fit a sidewalk in, in in the future. 
is it the appropriate time to do it now? It's hard to say. Um, just as Mr. Ziegler pointed out, there's no sidewalks anywhere near here. There is a demand path, however, on both sides of the road where, where people do walk up and down the, the side of Campbell Street. So uh, as far as reconstructing the bridge, there are no current plans to do that. They rehabbed the bridge when they rebuilt the road. Um, it would be very costly to add a hang a sidewalk off the side of that bridge. Thank you, Mr. Tech. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I guess the point I'm trying to make here is if we put a sidewalk in there now, <laughs> who knows when or if we'll ever have connectivity to the north. So I find it to be not the right place at the right time to put in a sidewalk. And like Mr. Weifenbach said, any time in the future this council or a future council has the right to call in a sidewalk. So thank you. Okay, Mr. Roberts, we'll go to Mr. Weifenbach. Thank you, Madam Chair. I can, I can support the motion. Is there a motion? There is not. Oh, I'll make a motion to approve the request. And if I can. I have a second by Weifenbach, or a motion by Weifenbach, second by Roberts to approve this request. You and stop I, I the just, floor, Mr. Weifenbach. I just wanted to make a comment. I, I drive this area frequently, and as, as Mr. Tech had said, that there's, there's a definite wear path. And if you walk that, you'll see, or if you drive that, you'll see that there's people walking it a lot. So at some point, we need to, to take an opportunity to look at this and, and, and see how we're going to go moving forward. So thank you. Thank you. And just for a personal point of privilege, um, I think it should be sooner rather than later. I just watched a, a gentleman trying to navigate a wheelchair from Elkvale to 79 the other day, scared the tar out of me. Um, there's just no place for him to go. So. I do think it needs to be looked at. All those in favor of the motion on the floor to approve this request? Aye. Aye. All the opposed, same sign. Motion carries. Need to adjourn. Have a motion to adjourn by Weifenbach, second by Roberts. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. All opposed, same sign. We are adjourned. <laughs>